Hello, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon to you all. I greet you all. Good afternoon. Please, if you know you can hear me, just try to let me know by, you know, leaving your comments below. Good afternoon, Mr. Humphrey. Good afternoon, Mr. Fidelis. Good afternoon, Mr. Richard. So good afternoon once again, please pardon me for the late coming because uh, you know I also have some other issues that I need to settle. So Good afternoon, Mr. Godfrey. Good afternoon, Sister Tracy. Good afternoon, Mr. Chikozie. Good afternoon to you all. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Also, I want to thank you for you know, your test messages last Saturday. I couldn't make it last Saturday because of the was I was sick, uh, so and I thank you for the way you all sent me messages and also your concern, and I appreciate you for that. Today, we are here to answer some questions together. So uh, if you permit me, I will share my screen with you so that we can proceed. Uh, So please, if you can see my screen, just try to indicate that. Let me know if you can see my screen. Let me know you can see my screen. Uh, just let me know you can see my screen uh, so that we can proceed. Good afternoon, good afternoon. I can hear, I can, I think, uh, Mr. Vicky, great. Good afternoon. I can see your greetings. So please, if you can see my screen, just let me know. Because we cannot proceed without you seeing my screen. That is what is very important that you see my screen. Just, uh, you know, please. And also, please, before we proceed, I would like you, if you, if you can share this video, uh, I, will, I will really appreciate so that other people can also benefit from it. And also, please, uh, you can like the video, you can also leave your comments. If you have not subscribed, please don't forget to do that. Uh, and I appreciate you for that. So I think as Mr. Richard said, yes, and also, Vic Great said yes. Okay, okay, sister. Edit said yes. Okay, the answer is yes. We can see my screen. So let's proceed to the first question of today, which we are having before us. Um, this is our first question of today, which said, "He tracked the strada in Cuba. De bono essere percorsi con i pedali della frizione abbassato, which is the section of road in pain must be covered with the clutch pedal depressed. Um, 
please leave your answers to this question. The, the question is making us to understand that, you know, why, you know, proceeding on a bending corner that you have to press the pedal of your, of your clutch down, you understand? So uh, just let us know if you think the answer is very or fast. So I think uh, Mr. Chico Z responds uh, fast. So. And also uh, we have a uh, sister queen, good afternoon. I can see you. So we have only one question, uh, only one answer, sorry. Um, Vicky Great said F. I think uh, it is better you be specific, otherwise later I will still be seeing that far so as to be, re uh, you know, regarding other questions. So if you, have, if you are specific, I would really appreciate that one, Mr. Uh, Sister Vicky, great. If you can answer one first or, or just like that, try to be specific. Thank you. Okay, sexy love said first. So I think that is still not specific. Okay, however, I understand what you are responding to, but it's just that as time goes on, I will not be able to understand if you are re referring to number one or number two. But however, we are here on this number one question. As usual, I don't normally uh, tell us Oh, I don't like telling people the answer is vero or fast. So you understand what I will do is to go into details. Let's see why the answer is vero or why we think is fast. For example, the question is referring to a situation of road like this, that in a bending corner that you need to, you know, approach the corner with your with the pedal of your of your clutch, with the pedal of your clutch, you know, pressed down. For example, you have to press this clutch down, you understand, while approaching a bendy corner. Uh, I think somebody is saying, Vero, no, it's, there, it's a wrong way of driving. You don't have to press your, your, your clutch down. Uh, what you need to do is to release your clutch, you understand, because uh, you know if you press your clutch down, it's a kind of, you have freed your, your vehicle, it will be, it's a kind of, you, you've increased the speed of your vehicle. And, also, and remember, in a bending corner like this, you don't have to increase your speed, You're, you, you only have to, you know, uh, try to keep a moderate velocity to enable you to, you know, uh, approach the cor corner in a very secure manner. So, um, the answer is fast because you don't have to you don't have to clutch down while approaching a bending corner. So the answer is fast. So you understand? Uh, it tried to destroy that. Sorry, it tried to destroy that in Cuba. Debonair se repercosi con i pedali della frizione avanzata. No, uh, it's fast. So the, the answer is fast. So, so let's immediately move to the next question, which is question number two, which says e triciclo uh, a motore e un Auto vehicle. So the motorized tricycle is a, a motor vehicle. So, what do you think about this number two question? Who is the first person to respond? Number two is a very short question. Uh, it said, "E triciclo a motore e un auto vehicle." The motorized tricycle is a motor vehicle. So, uh, you said number two. Number two, what? Uh, sexy love. Number two. Number two, what? Uh, okay, we've not had a response yet. Uh, I'm waiting to see the first person to respond and also the first person to get the, rest of the answer right. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Fideli said number two first, so uh, Vicky Love, sorry, Vicky Great said two first, so okay. Mr. Chigozi said two first, so. Uh, okay, we are seeing the response. Mr. Richard Okuru said number two, Vero. Sister Tracy said number two, Faso. Uh, Sister Fede said number two, Faso. Uh, Sister Tracy Love said, true, it's a motor vehicle. Okay, later we'll see that. Sister Queen said two, Faso. Mr. Godfrey said Faso and also Mr. Agbon just said uh, Ellis said Faso. Okay. Mr. Ellis said Faso. So, and also Mr. Kamara uh, said to Faso. Okay. Let's go into details to see why we think it's very 
or why we should give the right answer to those people who responded Vero or those people who responded Faso. For example, because two things we need to understand here. The question is a very short one. It said, it reciclo a motore e un autovehiculo. Now we are going to understand what is triciclo a motore and also what is un autovehiculo. For example, we are going to start with this it reciclo a motore. What, what are these uh, trichicli and motori, or who are these type of vehicles? For example, it says sono veicoli a tre ruote simmetriche con motore di cilindrata superiore a 50 km, eh, centimetri cubi e a 20 una velocità massima superiore a 45 km orario. So, uh, they are symmetrical three wheels uh, vehicles with an engine with a displacement greater than 50 cubic centimeters and a maximum speed greater than 45 kilometers per hour. So this is a, a tricycle a motore, rather uh, three cycles, you understand? So example of it is what we are having here. They are having two, you see, you can see two symmetric uh, tires moving to, uh, to, you know, in a parallel line, a, 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 parallel form and uh, uh, to, towards the same direction. And also you have the other, you know, one. We can have two tires at the back, one at the front. So it depends. So as long as three tires, there are three, three cycles, you understand? So then um, the, remember they have grade by grade, you understand? Because you, we have a three cycles that is all a bicycle, maybe a, a, that is classified under the, the velocipede, which is bicycle because if it's not having engine, remember it's under the classification of, of bicycle. So that is that one, uh, you know, regarding three cycles. So what what is this uh, the auto vehicle? Now the auto vehicle, for example, he said the auto vehicle sono tutti veicoli a motore con non meno di quattro ruote esclusi i quadrocicli. So. What this place is, tell, is telling us is that uh, motor vehicles are all motorized vehicles with not less than four wheels, including, sorry, excluding quadricycles. Therefore, every vehicle with four legs and above is considered um, uh, uh, motor vehicles apart from quadricycles. This is quadricycles. So, only this one, only this type of vehicle is the type of vehicle that is having four legs that is not considered uh, a, 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 you know, motor vehicle, you understand? So every other vehicle that is having from, uh, from four legs and above, they are considered quadricycles. Why? Three cycles is not among them, you understand? So that is why we can gently go to this number two question and say the answer is faster because the motorized, uh, three cycles is not a motor vehicle. So, a motorized three cycles is not a motor vehicle. So, uh, the answer to number two question is faso. So, let's quickly move on to the next question, which says La strada estrabana principale. No a incrocio a raso che la traversano, which is the main suburban road has no crossroads crossing it. So, what do you think is the answer to this number three question? Leave your answers below. Please remember if you can share this video, if you can share share it, if you can like it, I will really appreciate you. Uh, please. Let me see how many, okay, how many, how many likes we are having. <clears throat> if our like is not a, equivalent to the number of viewers we are having, I think it's better not to proceed. <clears throat> so let's do it that way. Um, okay, we are having two likes, very good. So it means we are not going to proceed because what shows that we have greedy people watching. Permit me to use that word because it doesn't really cost you anything to like the video that is giving you knowledge of what you don't know. If I tell you that it might take me maybe one hour to deliver this thing to you, or maybe 30 minutes or however, but 
it must have taken me maybe uh, uh, more than more than four, four, three, four hours to prepare this thing. You understand? That is preparing it, and not the time that it took took me to study it, to know it. So if you can't, uh, if you can't, uh, you know, click on the like button just to like the video that is giving you knowledge. Uh, permit me to use the word you are a greedy person. So, however, let's let's proceed. Um, so, what is the answers we are having? And I know that even some people, they can, they, I wish they can even come here, not to even let anybody know that they are here. They, can, they would have also do it, and uh, which is very bad. It shows the difference between we and the white people. The white people, when they know something, they try to expose it. But we, when we know it, we want to put it inside our pocket. Well, however, that is by the way. So we said number three is, uh, Number three is, uh, Mr. Kamara said number three is Faso. Vicky Great said is Faso. Sachiko Z said is Vero. Uh, Mr. Ellis said is Faso. Sister Fede said is, is Vero. And uh, Sister Tracy said is Vero. Sister Quint said is Vero. And uh, Mr. Feli said Vero. Uh, Sexy Love said Vero. Okay, Mr. Sexy Love, Sister Sexy Love said I shared to my to my WhatsApp status status. So God bless you for that one. I appreciate you, Sister um, Sexy Love. God bless you for that. Uh, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. So let's proceed to know where the answer lies on whether you know is vero or false. So for example, you say La Strada. Estrabana principale no no al incrocio a razo che attraversano. Now here we are going to see two things, which is strada estrabana principale and also uh, incrocio a razo. What is strada estrabana principale? That is what we are going to see first. For example, he said strada estrabana principale. Uh, or rather, la strada estrabana principale è una strada a carreggiata indipendenti o separata da spati traffico, ciascuna a meno con due corsie di marcia. That is to say, uh, the main suburban road is a road with independent carriageways or carriageways separated by traffic divider, each with at least two lanes. So looking at this road and with the description we have, I will tell you that this road is called Strada Estrabana Principale. So, because it's making us to understand that this Strada Estrabana Principale is having at least two lanes and above. And also each carriageway is separated uh, uh, with a traffic divider, you understand? So this is what is, uh, this is what we call traffic divider. Uh, and is uh, is um, what they use to separate the two carriageways from each other, or rather, the two uh, uh, to separate the yes, the two carriageway from each other. You understand? So this one is separating separating this carriageway from that one, and this one also is separating separating this carriageway from that one. So we are having two lanes in each in each direction. You understand? Um, Remember, you can also have more than two lanes, but you cannot have one lane, you understand? Otherwise, it's not a strada estrabana principale. So if it's one lane, it becomes strada estrabana uh, secondaria, and there you, 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 you won't have this uh, uh, you know, traffic divider, or rather spatial traffic. So now we understand what is strada estrabana principale. Now let's go to incrocio arazo. Because these are the two things they try to combine to work together. So in Croce Arazo, you say l'intersezione or in Croce. Now, if you are answering question, you understand, in your quiz, and you see this intersezione arazo or in Croce Arazo, they are referring to the same thing. You understand? Intersezione arazo, in Croce Arazo, they are referring to the same thing. So it said l'intersezione or in Croce Arazo. Meglio conosciuto come l'incrocio, because this uh, incrocio arazo or intersezione arazo, 
is well known as, as uh, you know, encroacher, you understand? Which we commonly call it junction, you understand? So, but here, whenever you are hearing encroacher, encroacher, so it is what they are referring to. It said, una confluenza di due o più strade che si incrociano allo stesso livello. So, it is a confluence of two or more roads that cross at the same level. Take note, they cross at the same level. You understand? In that case, it is called incrocio arazo or intersazioni arazo. You understand? So now that we have known what is intersazioni arazo or incrocio arazo and also strada uh, estravana principale, now this is what we are referring to as incrocio arazo rather a junction. You see, we have two roads coming together at the same level, you understand? At the same level, therefore, this one is called encroachio arazo. But does that mean that in, uh, in this Estrada Estrabana uh, principally, that we don't have an uh, intersection? Not at all. We have intersection, but it's just that it is not at the same level, just like we are having here. The bridge you are having here is a bridge of a road. So this point is considered as, it, I use the word intersection, it, intersection is supposed to be a meeting point, but this is, these are two roads meeting at different level. That is why they call it incrocio uh, or intersectioni a livello sfasato. So in that case, what we have in this type of road is not incrocio a razo, but intersazioni or incrocio a livello sfasato, which is this one is uh, incrocio uh, or intersazioni a livello sfasato. Uh, for example, here you have it here, uh, intersazioni or uh, incrocio a livello sfasato and also where you have the the, the B uh, sign of image, uh, for example, the B image as intersection or incrocio arazo. So take note of these two things because you always come across them in, while you are answering uh, questions in different ways, you understand? So, but if you are able to understand them, you understand that intersection or incrocio a livello sfasato is the overhead, you understand? They meet at different level. You understand? Just take note of that one. They don't meet at the same point. Whereas the the intersection or um, incrocio arazo, they meet at the same level, at the same point. You understand? So if you are able to understand this one, it will help you to navigate some question while you are, you know, answering your question. Uh, you know, uh, you know, um, on your exam day. So for example, here I say la strada estrabana principale. No, al incrocio che la traversano. The answer is vero because they don't have a, they don't have this uh, incroci arazo, which is uh, the the crossroad that is crossing them. What they are having is this uh, intersazioni or incrocio a livello sfasato. You understand? That is where the answer is vero. Um, Okay, so that is why we have the answer to number three as vero, because they don't have the intersection of, of the same level, you understand? So that is that is number three. So let's move to number four question, which says, le macchine agricole possono transportare fino a quattro passeggeri, which is agricultural mach machines can carry up to four passengers. What is your question, vero or falso? Leave your, leave your answers below. Please take note, any question we answered here is not supposed to give you problem on your exam day, you understand? So if you don't understand anything, please do not hesitate to leave your questions below. For those of you who have my number, you understand, uh, or who are on the WhatsApp group, you can reach me out. Uh, you just drop your message on the WhatsApp group that you have a question. I will send you the Zoom link so that you can directly, um, you know, 
answer question. But if you don't, uh, sorry, ask question. If you don't ask question, there will be no need for that, you understand? And also, if I'm sending you the link you want to ask question, please, your questions, your question must be, it must be, uh, you know, relevant one, you understand? Because I, I, I wouldn't want you to come and be asking me question outside what we are what we are dealing with, you understand? So if you have a question, please do not hesitate to notify me so that at the end of the explanation, I can send you the Zoom link so that you can, you know, directly ask your questions for those of us that is, on, uh, you know, that are having the Zoom, uh, sorry, the WhatsApp group uh, access. So, then if you're watching from uh, YouTube, uh, you can also leave your, your questions you know, below. I will try to give attention to that one. So we have uh, the first person to answer to be Mr. Chigos here, which says number four. Number four, uh, Faso, number, number, and then Sister Tracy said number four, Faso. Sister Edith said Faso. Sister Queen said Faso. Mr. Monday said Faso. Faso, Mr. Kamara say Faso, Mr. Solomon say Faso, Sister Fede say Faso, Mr. Godfrey said Faso, uh, Mr. Uh, Sister Love said Faso, and uh, um, Mr. Vicky, Sister Vicky said Faso, Mr. Fideli said Faso. All of you said Faso. What if I said is Vero? Wesha, let's see. Uh, me, I said Vero. So let's go and see how is or why is Vero or why is Faso, you understand? Because we must have opposition. So I said Vero and you said Faso. So let's proceed. For example, he said, Le Machine Agricole, Personal Transportare Fino a Quattro Passageri, which is agricultural machineries or machines can carry up to four passengers. When they refer to all those agricultural ma ma machines or machineries, they are referring to all these type of these ones that are maybe that are, um, it's called semoventi, you understand? The ones that are having tires, you understand? Uh, you know, um, we have the ones with, with, with tires and the ones without tires, which is the one with, uh, with chain. But these ones with um, tires, they can, they can carry passengers. They can carry passengers and it must be indicated in their, you know, libretto, which is their, their carta de circulación. So it can be, it must be, you know, indicated in their carta de circulación, and uh, you know, um, they cannot carry more than two passengers, including the driver is going to make it three. So the maximum this type of vehicle can carry, as uh, you know, uh, a maximum person that this vehicle can carry is three persons. You understand, including the driver. So. Uh, if you exclude the driver, it's going to be two passengers, you understand? So two passengers with the driver making it three. So the maximum they can carry is uh, three persons, you understand? So therefore we can uh, boldly say that uh, the answer is FASO, although I, I responded very well, so permit me for that. <laughs> so uh, la machina, le machina agricole possono transportare fino a uh, quattro passeggeri, which is FASO they can transport up to four, uh, sorry, two passengers, you understand? Uh, then if you include the driver, it will be three in total, you understand? So the answer is fast. So let's not go to number five, which said, durante la circulation, the autocarry con massa massima a piano carico superiore a 3,5 tonnellate devono essere segnalati posteriormente con panel, panelli retro, riflettenti eh, in figura, which is during circulation, trucks with a maximum weight uh, with full load greater than 3.5 tons must be uh, signaled at the rear with a retro, retro reflective panel in the figure. So leave your answers below if you think is is. Vero, if you think it's false or true or false, so leave your answers below. Uh, sister, Mr. Chigose said number five, Vero, and also Sister Tracy said number five, Vero. 
Sister Edith said number five, Vero. Mr. Solomon said number five, Vero. Sister Queen said number five, Vero. Sister Fede said number five, Vero. Mr. Fidelis said number five, Vero. So, it's like you guys are ganging up because um, you are just going towards one direction. Though it's good, you understand, because uh, it's good, it's good. Uh, I think Mr. Kamara said uh, five fast, so. Uh, Sister Sexy Love said, like guys, Sister Sexy Love, you know, uh, what we have in, in the meeting, they are adults, they know what to do. So if they, are, if they are not liking it, they don't just want to, you understand? Thank you for reminding them anyways. Uh, that is it. They don't want to like it uh, because uh, they don't like it. They only just want to take the knowledge and go away, So, which is also fine by me. Uh, Vicky Greg said five fast, so uh, okay. Now, you see, I want you sometimes always observe some vehicles you see uh, you know, uh, along the way, see you see some signs. You see, you know, even this uh, eighty seventy. I think the other day we 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 answered questions regarding all those ones. You understand? When you see uh, signs, you know, uh, you know, at the back of the vehicle or you know wherever, try to ask uh, why is it like this? It's not for decoration. Don't think it's only for decoration. You understand? So like this sign is what you are seeing here where the white arrow is pointing and also is what you are seeing there, you understand? The reason why they are placing this sign here is to indicate that this vehicle you are, you know, the vehicle that you are, you are having a, at your front is a vehicle, it's a vehicle that is used to uh, transport load that is carrying, that is uh, more than uh, 3.5 tons, you understand? So, if I'm at the back of this vehicle, what I will understand that it, this is not semi remorchial This is not a, you know, a auto articulato. This is, you know, a camion, for example, you understand? Which is carrying load that is more than 3.5 tons, you understand? And that is why the answer is very because when you are having this sign or when you are having this type of vehicle, you must make sure you put this uh, sticker at the back of the vehicle to, to signal other road, road users that your vehicle is the type of vehicle that can carry a load that is exceeding 3.5 tons, you understand? If it's a kind of vehicle that cannot uh, carry up to, uh, can, that cannot carry more than 3.5 tons, you don't need, you don't have to, you know, apply the, the, the sticker, but, if that is what the vehicle is, you are obliged to you to apply this uh, sticker. You understand? So uh, the answer is zero. Let's move to number six. We said in montanti in turning the auto vehicle reduce the possibility di vedere un ciclista or un motociclista, which is interior pillars. In motor vehicles, reduces or reduce the possibility of seeing a cyclist or motor, motorcyclist. Uh, number six, let me see who is going to be the first person to, uh, to answer the question. Let's answer the question number six. The first person to answer is Mr. Is uh, Amelia Ami, which said number six, Vero. Also, we, we have Mr. Chico, which said number six, Vero. Sister Tracy, which said number six, Vero. Mr. Festus, which says uh, number six, Faso. Sister Queen, which says number six, uh, Vero. Sister Fede, number six, Vero. Mr. Mombe, number six, Faso. Uh, okay, so in Montati interni degli autovehicoli riducono la possibilità di vedere un ciclista, 
ciclista or un, un motociclista. Now, like I said, I don't normally dive into a question to tell you, uh, you know, uh, yes, uh, Sister Love, I will, we will see what is uh, interior pillar, you understand? Then, uh, please, there is something I would like to advise us. The reason why I'm translating this question is, for example, if you don't understand, you look into the English part, which is the yellow, you understand? But I advise you to always look into the Italian part, even when you are doing quiz at home, because I see some people when they are doing quiz, uh, uh, when they are, <laughs> Sister Love said uh, 31 people watching three likes. <laughs> That's funny. Um, even when you are doing quiz at home, please don't always, uh, you know, um, don't always, translate your question. It's not going to help you in any way. Answer the question the way it is, you understand? I'm doing the, the, the translation in order to help you gain a better understanding of what we are talking about. But you look into, always look into the white one. Uh, if you don't understand there, you can, you know, you can decide to, uh, to you know, um, look into the other one, which is, um, then you can decide to look into the translated one in, in order to have a better understanding. You understand? So that is it. For example, what is this uh, Montati Intelli? This thing is, this question is not only important to pass your exam. It's also important, especially when we are walking on the road, you understand? And also when we are driving, you know, just like that. For example, in a in Montante Interni, what they are referring to is this one, you understand? You see it, um, you see, we have this one here, we have this one here. For example, let's look into this one. Now, this is the position you are sitting in a car as a driver. So you agree with me now that anything that is at the back of this uh, pillar, you cannot see it, you understand? So that is why uh, it is advisable when you are driving, especially when you are approaching the, the uh, you know, uh, zebra crossing, sometimes always wave your head, you understand? Don't, uh, don't just remain, you know, still like, uh, still like this, you understand? Always sometimes move your head, you understand? Especially when you are approach, approaching zebra crossing, because this thing can make you not to have a good view of a pedestrian that is about to cross or a cyclist that is already engaging the, the, the what is it called, the um, cyclist uh, crossing, you understand? Then also, I will also, you know, tell us, because of this, especially so many of us, uh, we want to cross the road, you, you are with your phone, you are crossing the road, you are tapping text messages, you are watching YouTube, you are watching, no, it is very bad. You are playing with your life because you are playing with something that, that is capable of keeping you in a wheelchair for, let me say, for life. So you don't do that. It's either you send text messages, or you cross the road. If you want to send text message, it's just something of minutes. Send your text message, then you cross the road. Or if you want to cross the road before you send the text message, cross the road before you send the text message. And before you dive into uh, this uh, atravesamento pedonale with the zebra crossing, you need to ensure yourself that the driver that is coming is, you know, is um, seeing you and also is ready to give you right of way. Do you know that a colleague of mine, uh, somebody hit him and when they asked what happened, he said he was looking for um, uh, um, this uh, charger. He was looking for charger. So boom, just now he hit uh, that car at the back. Let's assume it's somebody. So that is why if you want to cross the road, don't think that, uh, after all, I'm on a zebra crossing, so it's my right. What how do you know is your right? Because if this person, maybe, if, if the, maybe the driver is not seeing you, 
that like we like we just seen in this uh, you know uh, image the driver is having everything that can obstruct his view that can make him not to see you so it was said i don't see i yes i didn't see him i didn't see him so you might be thinking how can this person it's true there are so many things that can distract uh, a, you know a driver so you that is walking on the road please Take this into your account. If you are crossing, if you want to cross, don't just run and say because it's zebra crossing. You with your bicycle, vroom, or you know, you just jump into it and be expecting the the person might just be doing something else. You understand? So please, our life is very important, and let us put that into consideration. You understand? If you want to cross uh, this zebra cross, you know, wait. Be very sure that the driver is seeing you is ready to give you right of way then you engage the the the, the road you understand otherwise you just wait because i believe uh, is is better that way you understand so that is by the way the answer to the question is vero in montati interni degli autoveicoli riducono la possibilità di vedere un ciclista o un motociclista so those uh, in the, uh, the the internal pillars they, they can reduce the visibility of a uh, of driver uh, seeing a motorcyclist or cyclist, you understand? So the answer is very Proceeding to number seven, which says, l'intestazione, which is incroce a livello sfassati, uh, the normal regulator uh, semaphore. I think nobody is supposed to uh, get this question wrong because we just talked uh, talk about it some minutes ago. So. Leave your answers uh, at the comment section. Let's see what we are having for this, uh, uh, you know, uh, intercession or incroche a livello sfasati. Number seven. Number seven, number seven, what is your answer to number seven? Okay. We are having FASO. We are having FASO. Uh, well, I, I still don't agree. Okay, sister. Fede said first, so I never still agree. Um, Emilia, I mean, sorry, Anim said seven first, so Sister Tracy said seven first, so Vicky Greg said seven first, so, so me, I, I disagree with you. So later we are going to see it. Uh, Sister Edith said uh, seven first. Okay, I think uh, we can proceed. Uh, let's see. What is fast? So, though I don't agree with you, but uh, after the explanation, we'll see. So, like I said earlier, intercessioni a livello sfasati. Remember, this is what we used to answer the previous question. It's what we are seeing here. This is called intercessioni a livello sfasati. So, it's not by law or by any rules regulated by traffic. Why? Because we are not meeting at the same level. The techno, the reason why um, traffic is regulated by either a, 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 a traffic agent or a, a road sign or a traffic light is because for the fact that two vehicles are about, about to engage in that intersection. So, you cannot, I, I cannot tell you that uh, I want to go before you or you tell me you you be the one to go before me. So the owner of the road need to place something that will either enable me understand that I'm the one to go first or you are the one to go first. That is that is why it's either you have a, a traffic agent or a traffic light or road sign in order, in order to regulate the traffic. But here we are not having two vehicles meeting together. So it cannot be regulated by traffic. You understand? Whether traffic light, road sign, or a uh, traffic um, uh, uh, agent. You understand? So the answer is FASO, l'intestazione, which is in a livello sfasati, e di norma regolata da semaforo. No, non è regolata da semaforo, because it's not an, a leveled uh, you know, uh, intersection. So that is why the answer to number seven is FASO. Uh, so it's my first time here. Your live video is every Saturday. Yes, it's uh, Sister Law. It's every Saturday, but sometimes if any, if anything comes up, I will also you know have to skip it. Like last Saturday, I was sick, 
I couldn't uh, meet up. So um, I always try my best to come out uh, Saturday around two o'clock. And please take note, if I tell you around two o'clock, it's not, uh, it's not um, just that once two o'clock, uh, two o'clock, bam, as in I must be there. I said around two o'clock. I can even come maybe 150 or 140 something. I can come after uh, some minutes after two o'clock because sometimes I also try to balance some things, you know, around me because I just, I discovered that sometimes once it's two o'clock, people who have my phone number, they will start, brum, brum, brum. it's not good. Sometimes you need to, you know, uh, be patient, you understand? Because uh, uh, when I said around two o'clock, once, if I'm not going to meet up, I will always try to make sure I pass message across. So if I don't send message to you that today we are not meeting, please be patient with me. Definitely, I will try my best to make sure you understand. So because if we are not meeting, I will try my possible best to uh, send message across, you understand, uh, in order to, to make us understand that we are not meeting. So that is it, Sister Law. Is, yes, I always try my best to come out every Saturday to do something like this. So. Uh, that is it. Thank you for the question. So we said this number seven is fast. So you understand, it's not uh, you know, uh, it's not a junction uh, regulated by traffic. You understand? So or traffic lights. So let's move to this number eight, which says, "Is scenario figurato preannuncia una sede tramviaria con un solo binario." The sanction pronounced a tram station with only one track. Leave your answers below to this number eight question. Uh, let's, let's understand, uh, you know, um, what is the number, what is the number for the WhatsApp group? Uh, please, if you check my, this thing, you will see the number, but I will still try to write it here. I'll still try to write it here. And please do not forget the WhatsApp group uh, is for Zoom tutorial. There we do uh, explanations in details. We, do, we take them topic by topic and the explanation uh, is in Pidgin English, you understand? So uh, I say maybe you, you have the freedom of two days trial, you understand? So in two days, you, you don't have anything to worry about, but after two days, it's no longer going to be like that. Although if you want, more information, so if you send message to that uh, number, you have the clear information about that. So number eight, we said, uh, number eight, we said, uh, sorry, who is, the, who is the first person to respond to number eight? Number eight, oh, sorry. Number eight, we said, um, Okay, Vicky Great said number eight, Vero. Mr. Chigos is said number eight first. So uh, Mr. Mr. Fidel is said number eight, Vero. Sister Edith said number eight first. So Mr. Godfrey said number eight, Vero. Mr. Godstam said number eight, Vero. Uh, Miss Sister Queen said number eight, Vero. Sister Faith said, uh, Sister Feather said number eight. Faso, Mr. Desmond said number eight Faso. Sister Tracy said number eight Faso. Uh, Mr. Kevin said number eight isn't uh, number seven. Isn't I don't I don't understand. I disagree, bro. I don't understand what you disagree there. The intercession in Crucial Alivelis Fasati, a Dinama Regulator da Semaphoro. Mr. Mr. Okan Kevin, what do you disagree about the number seven? Please uh, try to be specific because even when you write up, I'm finding it, I'm finding it difficult to understand. He said, 
Uh, number seven, is it uh, fails or what? Or you wanted to write fast, so I disagree, bro. Why do you disagree? Why, why they are tell you, telling you that l'intersezione, which is incroccio a livello sfasati, a junction like this, a junction like this is telling you that is by law regulated by a traffic light. Is that not false to you? Please, that is false. So the answer is false. So uh, if you don't agree, uh, maybe you can go and do more research about that one, uh, you know, so that you don't fail your exam. So number seven is fast. So number eight, I'm trying to concentrate on number eight, what we are having here, sister, uh, Mr. John uh, said number eight, Vero, uh, Mr. Amin said number eight, Faso. Lady JP said eight, Vero, Sister Queen said Faso, Mr. Kevin said eight, Vero. Now, take note, the question says, il signora figurato preannuncia una sede tranviaria con un solo binario. You, you have a lot to learn with this question, you understand? What we have to learn in this question is that when you are answering question on your exam day, please uh, watch out very well, you understand? Because um, you know, there are some things thrown out in order to trap some people, for example, uh, you see, what is tramviaria or sede tramviaria? Is the part of the road reserved for the circulation of tram? You understand? That is sede tramviaria. Like here now, this is sede tramviaria. You understand? And then that sign, which is the Croce di Sant'Andrea, which is the one, is placed at a leveled crossing with one binary. So, but when you misunderstand binario with tram, uh, sede tramviaria, it becomes problem. That is why you see some people, they are answering, I think a vero, I don't, I don't know. No, yes, they are answering vero. It's not vero because where the problem is or where the misunderstanding is, is this sede tramviaria con un solo binario. Because you see binario here, you see, it, you just, uh, you know, assume maybe it's a train track. No, it's not referring to the train track. It's referring to the Sede Trambiari, which is the, uh, the, the part of the road reserved for the, for the circulation of tram. You understand? That is not what, where you can find this one. This, this crutch is Sant'Andrea. You can find it at a level crossing uh, with uh, one, Binary, you understand? So that is where the answer is fast to, to number eight. So let's proceed to number nine, which said, is signale raffigurato consente il transito alle bicicletta, which is the sign or the signal shown allows the transit of bicycle. So number nine, let me see what you have as, a, as the answer. Who is the first person to Please, every one of us who failed the number eight question, please try to make sure you understand why you fail it, you understand? Because uh, like I always uh, said, it is not good for the question you fail, maybe during quiz or during a program like this, will repeat itself on exam day and you still fail it. It's become, it, it becomes, you know, harmful, you understand? So uh, that is why you, you must always try to make sure any question you fail here, you don't you know, repeat it on your exam day, you understand? Try to know why you fail it. And that is also the reason why I always want you to answer first because you answering first, we, you know, we, a kind of make you give your own first opinion. From there, you now understand, okay, this is like this, you, know, you understand? So that is it. We have the first person to answer number eight as Mr. Uh, Chi Goze, which said number eight first, so and also Sister Ami, uh, Mr. Ami, sorry, I don't know, uh, Mr. Ami uh, Emilia said number nine first, so Sister Feder said number nine first, so um, Ewizi Pro TV said number nine first, so and also we have Sister Tracy said number nine first, so uh, Mr. Leo Tim said. Uh, Number nine, Vero, I think, yes, Desmond, a, a, 
Mr. Despon said Faso, Sister Eddie said Faso, Mr. Monday said Faso, number nine, and also uh, Vicky Great said Vero, Gostan, uh, sorry, Godfrey said Faso, Mr. Paul said Faso, Mr. Fidelis said Faso, Mr. Queen said Faso. So what am I saying? Is Senaira Figurato consente in transito ale bicicleta. So I'm saying is Vero and also I'm saying is Faso, but let's go on, see. I would have asked you the name of this sign, but if you can do me a favor, just drop the name of this sign at the comment section, you understand? Uh, what is this sign, you know? Um, what is it called, you understand? Please leave your comment at the comment section what, what this sign is called. To, to pro, uh, proceed, for example, this is a sign placed at that road where, you know, no vehicle with engine or without engine is allowed to access that road, you understand? So in the presence of this sign, you are not allowed to access that road with bicycle, with a wheelbarrow, with mesh, uh, motorcycles, with uh, cars, or you know, all those vehicles, anything vehicle is not allowed to, you know, assess the presence of this sign. Okay, thank you, Sir Chico, the Divieto de Transito. Uh, Emilia Ami, Divieto de Transito, yes. You got it right, you understand? So, it's called Divieto de Transito, which means, you are not allowed to transit in that particular road. Deviate the transit to who? To all vehicles, whether with the, one, the ones with engines and the ones without engines. They are not allowed to enter. The only person that is allowed to enter any road that is carrying this sign is pedestrian. If you are walking on, on foot, you can access the road. But as long as you are having your bicycle with you, <clears throat> you can no longer, no longer assess the, the, this road. If you are driving horse, you cannot assess it because vehicles with engine and vehicles without engine, whether electric vehicle is not allowed to assess this type of road. So the answer is FASO. Is in figurato consente in transito a bicicleta, which is the sun shown allows the transit of bicycles. No, FASO. Bicycle cannot assess any road where this sign is placed. So. Let's move to the number 10 question, which is assumed or which is supposed to be number now the last question for today before we call it a day. He said, Is Senaira Figura to Vieta la Femata the vehicle tra leore dicesete e le ore venti, which is this the signal depicted forbid the stopping of vehicles between the between. Uh, 1700 to 2000. So leave your answers at the comment section. Uh, let us see what your answers are. We have uh, Mr. Anim as the first person to respond, which said number 10 first. So uh, Sister Fede, which said number 10 first. So Mr. Chigozi, we said number 10 FASO. Sister Edit said number 10 FASO. Mr. Desmond, we said number 10 FASO. Uh, I think uh, JP said Vietato, though I don't really understand what that's. Maybe do you want to un understand the meaning of that? I don't really know. However, um, Sister Tracy said number 10 FASO. Mr. Monday said number 10 FASO. Mr. Wizzy said uh, number 10 Faso, and uh, Mr. Fidelis said number 10 Faso. Mr. Godfrey said number 10 Faso. Very good, I appreciate your understanding of this question because somebody will want to ask, why is it Faso? This is the reason why it's Faso, because the answer is Faso. Because he said, is Senaira figura to Vieta la fermata, from here, to here, sorry, from here to here, make the answer faso. Because this is not divieto di fermata. This is divieto di sosta. Because if they want to make it divieto di fermata, it has to be like this. You understand? The other one that is like this, that is divieto di fermata. 
Then before I will now go and look if the time that they, they talk about is inside. Yes, in this situation, the term they talk about is inside here, but the sun is not representing what they talk about. So that is where the answer is faster because this is divieto di sosta. Dalle sette alle nove, and also dalle diciassette alle venti. And also it becomes also, um, you know, a parking space from nine o'clock to uh, five o'clock in the evening, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the uh, 5 p.m. Uh, p.m. and also 8 p.m. to uh, 7 a.m. You understand? So this is referring to the time that you are allowed to park here. Where this time is, where this one is referring to the time that you are not allowed to park. You understand? So that is it. The answer we said is FASO. So that is where I will leave it for today. Please, I just want you to understand that for those of us that is, you know, having it in mind that it's difficult to, to have your license or you must pass through the wrong ways, you know, to try to get the license. No, you can get this license in a very, you know, legal way, you understand? It's just for you to, to commit yourself, to engage yourself. And also if you are expecting to just get it easy, you just want to be very, you want to be hurry about it. You want to get it from to, between today and tomorrow. No, because everything has its sacrifice. You understand? You need to be patient. You need to be consistent in uh, you know, doing quiz, learning, you know, those kind of things. And please, don't commonalize it because I believe the code outside there or out there is not friendly, it's not encouraging because you, you have to go and wait for the bus stop, maybe 30 minutes or 10 minutes, let's assume, um, before you, you bus will take you around the whole city before you get to your working place, which is not, you know, nice. So please try everything as possible. Be encouraged. Make sure you get it. You understand? Do not allow the language to, to, to discourage you. I'm not saying that uh, the language is not important, but I'm trying to make you understand that even the people who understand the language, I've seen so many of them who failed the exam. And also the people who don't understand the language, I've seen so many of them who, uh, who passed the exam. What am I trying to say? Italians also, they do fail the exam, you understand? So do, I'm not saying the language is not important. Yes, the language is paramount, but you must make sure you don't allow that one to discourage you. You understand? Always press for that to make sure uh, you know you 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 get it. And uh, which sign is correct for parking? The sign for parking is the sign correct for parking is this one. Uh, Please, is this one? Why well, this one is prohibiting you or is stopping you to park at this given time? You understand? Why well, this one tells you that at this time you can park? You understand? So that is it. Uh, I don't know if we have any other question. Uh, the sign means parking space. No, this the the. The peace sign, or let me do it like this. Let's call it sign A and sign B. Let's call this one A, or let me write it here, A and B. The sign A is telling you that at this time, from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., you are not allowed to park, but you can stop. Then where the at this time, uh, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., you are not allowed to park, but you can stop. Then why uh, the B sign is telling you that from 9 a.m. to 7 p from 9 a.m. to, uh, to 5 p.m., you are not allowed to, um, sorry, you are allowed to park, you understand? And also from uh, 8, p.m. to 9 a.m. to 7 a.m., you are allowed to park. So remember, any sign that allows you to park also allows you to stop, you understand? 
But any sign that does not allow you to, uh, to, to, to stop cannot allow you to, to park, you understand? So that is why this sign, the answer is fast because he's talking about st stopping. No, none of this sign prohibit you from stopping. It is only this sign A that prohibit you from parking and not stopping, you understand? So I believe that one is understandable, uh, Sister Love. And you say, how can I join the WhatsApp group? I think I just left the number before. Let me write it again. If you want to write me on WhatsApp, you can. You are free to do so. Which is a three So three eight eight six four three one five two four. That is it. So I don't think uh, we have a. Thursday quiz, sir. Thursday quiz, Thursday quiz. No. Take note, please. YouTube uh, activity and Facebook activities is different from our Tuesday, Thursday, and uh, Sunday uh, um, activity. So don't expect me to bring anything there to this place. This one is a program on its own, you understand? And Thursday quiz will be dealt with uh, maybe tomorrow, you understand? So I, I don't bring them here, you understand? So um, please, uh, uh, Sister Love, I think uh, you have my number. You can ask every question there. I think uh, we have to maybe concentrate on the questions that is regarding to this one. If anybody is having questions regarding to this, uh, this uh, particular um, uh, questions that we've just answered so that we don't uh, waste much time. You can reach, reach me with the number you are seeing there, Sister uh, Love, uh, and uh, every other person, you understand? So, but I don't think we have questions because I'm not having any message that is saying so. Therefore, I can, you know, I can, you know, I'm free to tell you, please, uh, like I said, always try to make sure you do your quiz. So here we want to leave you for today. Have a wonderful day. I really appreciate your time. Please do not forget to, to share this uh, video. I still keep on telling you because it doesn't really cost you anything to share. If you're not doing it, you just don't want to do it. But if you do it, I appreciate you. Thank you for that. And also remember to leave your comment and also see you next Saturday. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Please, 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 before I leave next Saturday, we may not be meeting because of Christmas, uh, because of Christmas holiday. But if we are meeting, I will still let us know. Uh, for next Saturday, uh, if we are meeting, I will still let us know because, uh, because of Christmas activities. Uh, if we are meeting, I will still let us know. So if we are not meeting, I will still try to communicate us. You understand? So I uh, have a wonderful day for now, for, for now and uh, uh, see you some other time.